Welcome, Andreas. Good morning. For your hard work and for all of your achievements, I'm very happy to be presenting you with your award today on behalf of the European. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Gurpreet. It's really a pleasure being here today. Thank you very much also to the audience. It's a pleasure to be awarded as the best multi-banking solution provider of the year. And we are definitely looking already forward to have the same chance by 2018. Of Thank course. you. Well done. Thanks. As a specialised multi-banking service provider, Fidesz Treasury Services are committed to providing their clients with flexible, tailor-made solutions. But they've recently been awarded Multi-Banking Solution Provider of the Year. And today, Andreas Lutz, who's CEO of Fidesz, joins us to discuss the industry. A very good day to you and congratulations on your award. Good morning from my side and thank you very much. Now, the company's been going strong for over a century and it's focusing on connectivity and transaction communications. So, how have the continuous changes of the environment affected your company and the services that you provide? Actually, FIDES is still focusing on the very same thing that we have been focused 100 years ago. We are focused on our clients and how we deliver solutions to them. So basically, in 1910, our founding goal was to connect our clients with the information they actually need in order to do their business. So, as you just have mentioned, in today's environment, we are taking care of multi-bank connectivity and banking solutions. So, in the same way as what we have done 100 years ago already, helping them to communicate broadly, reach further and faster. And so, variations on the same theme, basically. Absolutely. So, in, in terms of your tailor-made services, how do you ensure that solutions are flexible, not just for international corporations, but also businesses at the other end of the scale, the small and medium-sized enterprises. Absolutely. So basically it is because we put the client at the center of our development. So we basically plan, develop and also execute the solutions around our clients. So let's take an international company, a large international multinational company. They are actually having typically sophisticated infrastructure in place. So what we do is going directly into their system, connecting their enterprise resource planning system or the treasury management system directly with our solutions. While on the other hand side, for example, smaller corporations particularly, they do not have such systems in place. So what you do here is basically the same approach, but by delivering our web applications for them. Okay then, and in terms of proprietary solutions, how do they help to engage those who don't have access to their own systems? Basically, let's talk about, let's say, a multinational company. They typically have, let's say, a centralized treasury system in place where all of those guys can work from. But, you know, those companies can also tell you stories about long-lasting implementations, whether it is about their ERP or TMS systems, and particularly because also of their subsidiaries which are spread around the globe. So typically what we use here is a kind of a hybrid approach. So we use the internal systems they have at their centralized uh, treasury department connecting directly into their EOP and TMS. While on the other hand side, we provide our web applications for all the subsidiaries, allowing them to get access into the systems as well, reconciling, do the payments and also see all of their cash balances just at the touch of a button. Okay, so all bases are covered, basically. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but look, you know that the trends in the business environment, they are constantly moving, they're never static. So sure. there must surely be a lot of pressure on you that are to, to actually move with them, with the pressures on, on the expectation that payments are actually transferred very quickly. So how have you responded to this? Because you've got to stay ahead of the game here. Absolutely, we do have to. So basically, I mean, we invested heavily into our infrastructure over the last couple of years. That was one of the key features which we have had to enhance, right? And on the other hand side, there is also what is going on on the market. I mean, the market is shifting more, as what you just have mentioned, into the fast payments, into real-time payments, so to speak. But they are not just the challenges from a banking perspective which needs to be overcome, but also from a corporate side, because corporates often have such a legacy systems in place, I would say, which are not prepared to really go that fast route. Moreover, if you look at just a purely technology point of view, the infrastructure which has been built many, many years ago 
isn't made for such innovations. So in order to achieve really, let's say, real-time payments, the entire environment would have to be changed. And this is really something which, where we're going to see actually a lot of hurdles which we need to overcome over the last couple of years. And, and moving on for, on onto that point as well, because you know th there's also the issue like fraud, for example, yeah. efficiency gain and cost. So bearing in mind what you're doing to, to keep pace with the general changes in your industry, how do you factor in those issues dealing with fraud, efficiency gain, cost, etc.? How does that shape your approach as well? That's a very good question, actually, because I think it is really on the top of the agenda of every corporate treasurer to deal with fraud, to have the necessary protocols in place, but also to achieve visibility about their cash and also about the predictability to, in order to really enhance their payment processes or the workflows overall. So from a FIDES perspective, we actually just have implemented, uh, thanks to our solution approach I just mentioned before, a new and enhanced sanction filter capability. This is also, of course, in place to avoid fraud from one angle. So for example, we have implemented a solution which allows a treasurer to simply check whether his payment would actually already be on a sanction filter list, double check, select say, like the OFAC checks or any other checks we are doing. And on top of, we are also allowing our clients to add on any additional sanction filtering lists, which are very important because of internal policies, for example. So this is all really just in order to avoid the upcoming cyber crimes, fraud possibilities, etc. So they're combining their material with yours, basically. Absolutely. Now, you've just been awarded the multi-banking solution provider of the year. So what message do you think that sends out to current clients and indeed potential clients and what do you think that you did right to get this title because it, it's not doled out easily you've got to earn it <laughs> absolutely you're totally right and I think that would be the best question to ask actually the treasurers because they nominated us at the end of the day and I'm really thankful for that so I think because of us I would say it is really because the solution we put in place are made because of the requests we're gonna get from the clients we provide solutions which allow treasurers to grow with and to further grow their business, therefore. So from my perspective, I'm pretty much honored to really get uh, this award, have been awarded by the entire audience, and to drive from that perspective even further. So it's listening to the clients, that's really the key to it. That is absolutely the key. It is the major fact that FIDAS is still 100 years after we have been founded in the middle of the entire business. Okay, and how is 2017 likely to pan out for Fides Treasury Services? Make a prediction. Where do you think you'll be if we're having a conversation at the end of the year? Well, honestly, of course, I do hope that we are still ahead of the curve and we have done a lot in order to be so. Let me give you an example. I mean, as I just said before, we are always putting our clients at the center of our developments. So also for 2017 and probably also the years after, we will have to look into what our client needs are and develop accordingly. So we will actually coming just by this summer up with a new solution which will eliminate all of the guesswork in payment predictability, statement reconciliation, etc. This will definitely allow any of our clients to further grow their business and help us of course then further grow with the clients and also grow together at the end of the day our entire business. So 2017 will be very important for us and more to come 2018. Seems like you're never really going to slow down, are you? <laughs> Andreas Lutz, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Thank you very much.